welcome to the Mustache Podcast. This is episode 14. I am Stacy, known as Free Flower on Ravelry. And I'm Steph. I'm Super Steph on Ravelry. And today, today? is Friday, <laughs> <laughs> July 12th, 2013. And if you are new, welcome. Yes, welcome. I hope you find something that you really like that keeps you coming back. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Yes, we love your faces. <laughs> and I have a little bit of a cold. I'm sorry if my voice is scratchy and annoying, or more annoying than usual. <laughs> and it is the tour. Yes. Tour de Fleece. Today, Woo-woo. well, not today, but this weekend I'll start the... Um, week three? Yeah. End of week two? End beginning of week two, of... beginning of week three. Yeah, today is um, the 14th day Okay. of the tour. And there's like what, 21? 21 of eh, or so. Ish. <laughs> 23, technically. Something like that. Um, yeah, so welcome. And um, we wanted to start off by saying thank you um, to several lovely, lovely people who donated mm. their money and paid for postage. Yes. <laughs> what was it you said? It like we got. Four, one, two, three, four, five, I sent, five donations. I sent out and we sent five out. packages uh-huh. and thank you cards um, also last week. Uh-huh. And we were only down by 20 cents in the account because the donations totally because paid for that postage. Awesome. Yes. That's how we <clears throat> like it. Oh, my gosh, thank yes. You thank you so much. By name, thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Jennifer G and Jennifer P. Mm-hmm. And Jennifer P paid it forward. She was Jay Pester who won one of the um, drawings last week. Awesome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and um, also Karen and Catherine. So thank you all very, very, very much. For the <laughs> um, so I think we're just going to jump right into the spinning. Into the spinning. What right. have we got going? Um, <laughs> I just got this out because Steph is spindle spinning, so I wanted to be like the cool kids and spindle spin. Um, <clears throat> this is some droll, eclectic, other duties assigned. It is 50-50, merino, tensile. Look at that luster and shine on that. It is gorgeous. How is it drafting? Gorgeously. <laughs> uh, that's what I, I should call the gorgeous George because it is gorgeous. This was the one that I um, I did. I showed you guys how to slide the little cup off onto a, a straw if you happen to have these handy. Um, so that's pretty much all I have. And I, have, I just picked this up, as you can see, <laughs> that much. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm really spinning on this week is I have some from Dawning Dreams. I have this lovely braid. Let me roll this up so you can see. It's a beautiful gradient. Look at that. Really and pretty. It, it is a merino wool and bamboo. And it's also drafting like a dream. And it started... I'm, I think you guys can hopefully see through the silver strings that dark charcoal gray. Uh, it was a long bit of uh, charcoal gray, actually much longer than the, the silver bit. Well, I, maybe not much, much longer, but longer than the silver bit. Um, I decided that I would just spin it as I came to it, which I don't usually do. I usually sliver it up, do fractal spinning, do something, something, something with it. But I thought it would be fun if, um, when all was said and done, I just spun it as I came to it, and then um, kept it as a single. Just fluffed it and folded and, it a little and bit. And keep it as a gradient. And keep it as a gradient. Yeah, mm-hmm. at first I was thinking I would chain ply it. Right. Which I may still do, you know, I'm... Yeah, you never know. I'm about a, maybe a third, maybe less than a third, maybe a quarter to a third into this braid, and, um, you know, 
if I get lazy and it, I feel like it's getting really uneven, mm -hmm. then I'll want to ply it because that will really help the integrity of the yarn mm -hmm. and help balance it out. But if things keep going the way they're going, I have never spun a, a single and kept it as a single. I've always plied it, so. Yeah, I had in mind to keep an eye out for a braid in my stash that might work well as a single. Mm-hmm. Just because I want the yardage. <laughs> yes, well, and to, I need to get in the habit of buying two braids of a colorway every now and then. Yes. Um, yep. I um, I have one that I was thinking I might do that. It's a natural obsession and it's a milk, which from what I understand, <laughs> It's supposed to spin a lot like um, silk, right? Which silk it often, um, I think it's more. It's a more likely um, suspect for a single because of its strength. We could have a milk spin along. There we go. A milk Just off. <laughs> Got milk. <laughs> All right. So what are you spinning? <laughs> I am working on my All Spun Up. It is BFL and Silk, and it is in um, the Rustic colorway. And I'm spinning it on my Spinitude Spindle. That cop is getting big it's, stuff. Yes, this is the last little bit of this um, third, because I split it into three so that I could get a three-ply. And then I've got my other third sitting over here. So. Ooh. Yeah, I'm anxious to get it off this because um, it's just getting a little unwieldy for my taste. Yeah, do, do you notice, is it getting like wobbly? Oh yeah, and I'm not the world's best winder. <laughs> <laughs> so. What do you mean, like winding it on the Yeah, cup? making sure it's even and all oh. the other stuff. I kind of just, sometimes I do the, the up and or up and down thing, and sometimes I just, whatever. Get it out of my way, I don't care. I hope I'm not giving away a, a trade secret, but I did see early on in my spindle spinning career, I saw Abby Frankemont demonstrate, um, I'm not the best about lining a cop either. I'm not very, I, I don't spindle spin very often, but she had said that, that when you um, wind it oh, on. Oh yeah, that's how I start. Going down and mm -hmm. then back and then up. up. That's exactly how I start. Okay. Until I get, until this this part gets really, really fat and then I kind of just start winding it wherever and kind of filling in the spaces and like it, mine's yeah. getting really messy down here because my hand keeps bumping into it. And... I hate that when you, get, you practically felt it yourself because <laughs> your hand runs into it. And I tend to to flick it with my fingers mm -hmm. instead of running it up my leg. Oh yeah, I always flick. I've never you you can the leg spin thing. much much you know it it goes so much faster when you do the flicking. Yeah. Or when I I'm sorry when you do the the running it up your leg. Oh, does it? It does, and then you can just you know draft for miles. Huh. I have never done that before. That was <laughs> first. I just like flicking it with my fingers. I'm not in a big hurry when I'm spindle spinning. I usually am just I'm in, just enjoying feeling the fiber and looking at it. And yeah, I like <laughs> if you want like production. <laughs> yes, like I I was spinning on this last night while we were watching a movie, and it's just uh, it's peaceful. Huh? It's peaceful, methodical, and. You know, you don't have to engage a whole lot of your brain. Yeah, but maybe just a slightly more than when you're on your wheel. You know, we were um, in the one of the threads. We were talking about that, just how peaceful. You know, not when you first spin. When you, <laughs> when you first spin, you're like, <laughs> <"Dah, arr, arr." laughs> but then quickly uh, it clicks, and it's it is. It's just very very peaceful to spin. So that is beautiful, and you have just this little bit, and just then one this, more third. Just a little bit, and then I get to take this cop off and start a new third. So I didn't start anything new on my wheel because um, this is one of my goals: is to get this finished and plied. 
and I figured I'd have a better chance if I didn't have anything <laughs> on my wheel. That's so. probably good. Unlike me, who I don't apparently feel the need to finish anything. I just keep starting new things. <laughs> so I also started... Better floats your boat, man. <laughs> um, Ooh, what's that? Yeah. It is... Is that your paper and yarn? Yes! Wow, you got a good eye! <laughs> I remember things. Look at it. It's like so fiber things, okay? In case my husband is watching, I don't remember <laughs> important things. I got these two braids last year at the end of the tour. I had done mm -hmm. so well, and all of the sales going on, I had to replenish the stash. Oh, um, yeah. I think I replenished mine up and beyond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, two four ounce. It says um, Superwash Merino in mm. the, the Drift colorway. And they were having just wonderful sales. Yeah, because I got Super some. sale. I got, I think I got two braids of that myself. Not this colorway, though. Look how fluffy that is. It's really fluffy. It's so fluffy. I'm going to die. <laughs> I hope you guys get, I don't know, there's like fluff everywhere in the air, <laughs> but I hope you guys could see that. Look, look at how the fiber is just... And do you think it's because this part is undyed? I don't know. Let's find a dyed bit. There's a little dyed bit. It's, it's still pretty fluffy. It's so fluffy. And it just, this stuff, it really, it just drafts out just flows right out of there. <laughs> so um, what weight is, that's a pretty good bump of singles there. Is that a full ounce? Um, I think it's about, uh, yeah, about an ounce, ounce and a half. Um, I didn't measure it. I just, yeah, whatever. I just spun it again. I spun it as I came to it. So, On your wheel? On the wheel. Okay. Yep. Wheel spinning. So, yep. And I just took it off. I only have two Wally Winders, or two, um, these thingies. Yeah, the Wooly Bobbin, Wooly Winder Bobbin. Bobbin, that's a true You have more regular bobbins, but not yeah. for your Wooly Winder. I'm spoiled. Yeah, I only want to spin on my Wooly Winder Bobbins well, now. that's what it's there for. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> I spun it off into one of my little bitty... Uh, storage bobbins and remember you guys if you're looking for these little um, plastic storage bobbins several different brands sell them they come in uh -huh. this is the four inch there's six inch there's the kind that has the bigger you know it looks more like this but it's made out of plastic they also have them made out of paper mm -hmm. it's super cheap they're like a dollar two dollars right. each and these are weaving bobbins weaving bobbins now the the ones that you find that look like these um, you're probably going to find in in the spinning, in the section. spinning section. I and there's actually a shocked right makes the the yeah yeah they do. So and there's a brand of um, of a really cool plastic bobbin, and um, yes, I'm supposed to talk about it after I use them. Um, oh yeah, you'll have to start using them. So yeah, I'll have to. I just haven't gotten the chance because. Um, so know, more to come. Them, more to come. <laughs> but there's a really cool bobbin out there. Um, well, always leave also, them wanting more stuff, right? Okay. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the Seinfeld where George, there's like, always leave them wanting more. So he tell, you know, he says one thing and everybody laughs. He's like, that's it. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Come back if you want to hear more about those bobbins. They're magical. And I won't tell you which episode. <laughs> That's right. You'll have to watch them all. Watch them all. <laughs> so um, you're spinning on this. I'm spinning on that. Uh-huh. You guys are spinning a lot. Yes. A lot, a lot, a lot. Yes. And, oh, wait. Can I do my FO really quick? Oh, yes, please, please. Oh, you have one, too. I have an FO, too. Yeah. Spinning FO. Let's do that now. So you guys just keep spinning, keep showing us what you're spinning. I love it. I love it. You guys are so inspiring, so talented. And, and I love all the newbies showing your yarn. So and, proud of you guys. Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. I know. And just jumping in with both feet. Yeah. That's awesome. And there's a, it seems like there's been a few um, new wheel owners mm. pop up. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. And new spindle spindle owners. 
I finished my Western Sky Knits. Oh, so pretty. This is merino and silk, and it is the Lucy colorway. And it was dyed by Heather. Gosh, Kim so is the other dyer. And they each have their you own don't Etsy. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something like Kim? Oh, it's over here. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, that's gorgeous. What did you get? Okay, so, oh man. I fractal spun, two ply. It is about a sport weight, and I got 394 yards, I think. Somewhere around there. Wow. Um, so I'm on the lookout for a, a shawl. Yeah. I'm totally going to do a shawl. Oh, yeah. That's a great and then idea. The, um, you'll see that there's a pretty good stretch of just plain pink. What happened is, you know, I split my, split my braid, and then each end has pink, which is fine. Um, I ran out of my, the slivered part of my singles. I ran out of those first and I was into the last stretch of pink on oh, the part. Oh, that's kind of cool though, Steph. <laughs> so what I did was I, um, I broke it, I wound it into a two ply ball and then I just Applied it from the other end. That's her thing. <laughs> it's everybody's thing, right? And then Am I went right? ahead and I tied off um, a piece of pink yarn on that because I counted. I think I had like 14 or 16 wraps on my Nitty Naughty as opposed to the first part of the braid starts off with pink also and there's only like four wraps. So um, I... I'm going to remember which end has the long repeat and not start my shawl from that end. That way, you know, I'll probably not use up the whole braid. Hmm. Uh, or if I do, it won't be that big of a deal because the bottom part of a shawl is so much wider that the stripe will be thinner anyway. You are so scientific. I know. I was, I was kind of worried about that. I, I like, like it, what though. Do? It's like a Mrs. Robinson kind of <laughs> streak. And it's so squishy, y'all. I wish really there squishy. was... Squish o vision. Gosh, this is awesome. You're getting so good stuff. I am really proud you of you. You are myself. not spinning. I'm enjoying dance. my it's, spinning. You're really doing awesome. Thank you. Well mm -hmm. done. Okay, mine looks like crap compared to that. <laughs> Yours is so fun. Look at that. Woohoo! It's a party and a braid. Y'all, y'all. That okay. screams hat. Oh my god. Big chunky hat. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. Maybe for my, for my baby. Uh, she just wouldn't wear it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we both did that at the same time. My baby is so uh, baby. picky. Uh. She's not even a baby. I, she's my baby. She's my youngest. My third child. So, she's my baby. She's five. And this is dyed by Kim of Western Sky Nuts. And it is, um, gosh, I don't have my tag. I believe it's a hundred. Wise Owl. It's Wise Owl. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't remember the base. I think it's Superwash Merino. That's a good guess. Oh. Yeah. Um, it doesn't feel, it didn't feel like it had any nylon <clears throat> as I was mm -hmm. um, spinning it. And it is a two-ply. I um, made a center pole um, cake. Yeah. And uh, applied it together inside to the outside and remembered that I hate that technique. Oh, really? <laughs> Man, it's such a horrible mess thing. Try to. And I let it rest for a couple of days before. <laughs> That's why it's called drop spindle. <laughs> um, I let it rest for a couple of days mm -hmm. um, before I tried applying it, but it was so energized still. That I eventually, so I had it right next to me. I know better than to have it like on the floor. Yeah, or, I just keep mine in my hand. And I had it right there next to me. Yeah, and then I actually just kept, put it in my hand. Mm -hmm. It's easier because to it do kept that way. like flipping itself over, and mm -hmm. the outside would wrap itself around <laughs> the inside. If you guys just, just heard that, <laughs> they're running around playing downstairs and they love to play kitty and dinosaur and chase each other around. Although I just Although I think a, a dinosaur caught a cat. I think so. <laughs> Good thing daddy's down there to handle everything. 
Um, so I'm not too, too pleased uh, with how that technique was yeah, working. It's like, a, it's like a, you almost have to choreograph it when you yeah. do it. You kind of have to like turn it and feed it and turn it and feed it. Yeah. But I understand. the great thing about it, the, the big, big perk, mm -hmm. use every single use it all. drop of your single. So Which is nice. No waste, no having to figure out at the end, how am I going to, you know, put this. Anyway. Finished yarn. Finished Yay! yarn. And, and did guys, you sliver it real quick? Oh, how did I spin it? Hmm. So, half, <laughs> half, I, yeah, I did fractal too. Okay. Oh, cool. So lots of barber pulling. Yes. Yes. Lots of barber pulling. Lots of crazy, crazy. I can't tell you guys how much I love something with brown. Like every color with brown. I was like, ooh, turquoise and brown. Oh, I love that so much. Yeah. Orange and brown. Has I love brown it. in it too. Green and brown. Love it. <laughs> I love it all. Yeah. And this is my big old fruit bowl that mm -hmm. of my hand spun that I just keep and out. Stiffs. One. And Steph's one hand spun <laughs> that I keep out um, mm -hmm. to That's inspire That's a great me. idea. I have mine in um, glass, a glass jar, but the jar isn't big enough. I was thinking about getting okay. We have um, one of those big craft box stores down here, Hobby Lobby, mm -hmm. and they tend to put their home decorating items on like 50% off like oh yeah all the time all the time like every other week yeah you go in it's 50% off like whoa, whoa. But anyway I was thinking about one of those great big like sundry jars like mm -hmm. you'd see at the apothecary you know <laughs> I like the bowl idea yeah but I was because just thinking because you can have to be go cold. up with it you know mm -hmm. whereas you can only see kind of the top parts yeah so in you go We'll put stuffs right on front. <laughs> okay, so you guys keep spinning you guys and keep spinning. Hey, and do we want to? And... Do we want to do a giveaway? Yeah. You want to do the tour de fleece giveaway? Let's do the tour de fleece giveaway, y'all. All right. Um, let me get out my computer and see what we have going on. Okay. So we had. Mm. We are going to give away from our chat thread. And two. two prizes, yeah. What are we getting? Did we, did we bring it here? We didn't even, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got awesome. you covered. You're awesome. I got you covered. So last week we stopped with 1291, or we stopped with 1290, and we're going to do 1291 through 1291 on the chat thread through 1936. You chatty. Chatty, chatty, chatty girls <laughs> and, and, and fellas. I'm sure we have a few okay. fellas. I'm gonna hit generate 1348. Okay, 1348. Um, any idea what what are we giving away? <laughs> what are we what giving, are we giving away? away? I bet. Um, so we have another lovely bat from Little Monkey, Little Monkey's Stitch and Spin. And I'm sorry, what did you say? 1358? 1348. 1348. Gotcha. Okay. So it's colorways Aries and it's Gosh, Merino, gorgeous. Firestar, Faux Cashmere, Silk Noil, and Angelina. It's got a lot of stuff. And this is from Dina. Oh little my monkey. gosh, that's mm. gorgeous. It's really pretty. And is it you? Could it be you that's going to win this? <laughs> it is you if you are Nitty Witty Shelly. Uh, Michelle. Or maybe it's Nitty Witty Shell. What mm. do you think? So it's Michelle. Um, Michelle from, where are you from? New South something. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, to go there. I mean, to her. New South Wales. Go Australia. to her profile. I would like to go there also. I would like to go there. How awesome. Oh, congratulations, congratulations Michelle. Michelle. PM me, free mm -hmm. flower, and I will get that in the mail to you. Very awesome. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to hit generate again. I haven't touched anything. I'm just going to hit generate. 1844. 
1844. Okay, let me go back to the fridge. <laughs> and this is some Rolags from Tara or Tara, I'm not sure, of Spin Monkeys. Oh, another monkey. And she was generous and donated these Rolags. There's 2.2 ounces, and it's Merino, Tencel, Wool Neps, Mohair, and Angelina. And Wow, one. those are cool. It is really cool. Look at these fun things. Oh my gosh. That is going to make some <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, and it's so easy to draft. I'm just pulling out. <laughs> it just wants to go. Wow, that is gorgeous. And if you are Des Z72 Dixie from Birmingham, Alabama, you're going to get to play with those. Yay. Congratulations. Oscillations. Yes, congratulations. I said oscillations. Oscillations. <laughs> oscillations to you. <laughs> Spinning. I know. Oh, we can I make it work. We laugh. can make it work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Aren't we going to give away a yarn? Not a yarn. Um, oh, a what else? One. Yeah, what are we, else are we giving away? Let me look and see. So we're also going to give away from the um, finished yarn thread. Yes. And from the finished yarn thread, we are giving... Oh, oh it's not in there. We are giving away. End of week two. Do the Rolex. Oh, that's why we don't have it over here. Um, one of our lovely viewers, Michelle, who is Quilt and Knit Girl, offered us a four ounce... Falkland, a four ounce braid of Falkland from Godiva Yarns. And I will post a picture of that. Um, and she will mail that directly to you. So whoever wins this, PM me. I'll put you in touch with Michelle from Quilton, or uh, who is Quilton Knit Girl. Mm -hmm. Such a, we have so many generous uh, members of our group. Okay, okay, so, so we're going to be starting with post 64 and go until do, 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 64 to wow, 140. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of finished yarn. No kidding. Okay, generate number 74. Okay, um, let me get there. Number 74 is on page 3. Oh, number seven. Ah, it is. It, it's maybe it keeps jumping because the pictures load slowly, you know, so it keeps jumping down. But it is um, Emily Chain of Fools. Yay! Hey. <laughs> and uh, she has a really nice podcast if you haven't checked it out. Yeah, she's so, pretty awesome. Fiber Town. Yes. Um, and so check it out. And her picture is taking a while to load, but her caption says the never ending alpaca. She's spinning a lot, apparently. Yeah. And it's a lovely braid. Oh, it is. It's woolen spun. It does. And it's kind of an oatmeal fawn mm -hmm. color of alpaca. That's natural. Lovely. Very well done, Emily. So and PM. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. PM me and, and I will get that braid mailed to you. And thank you, Michelle, for that donation. Okay. Good. Yeah, I yeah. Think that was it for spinning. How about knitting? With knitting. Let's do some knitting. Yay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put this up for right now. Let me wind. What are you knitting? I am have been working on my new foam shawl. Quite a lot. Not that you would be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on my first little skein, and this was a little. Oh, it's skein. getting littler though. It's getting littler. And I did that thing where I marked where I was the last time I showed you guys. So I got this much, but actually I got like twice that because it's worked around and around. So I did this much and this much. Yes. yes. So it grew. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, and it's looking so pretty. I love it. Oh, so cool. Let's see if you can see this, the shaping. And the shaping looks like that on the other end. And then it's just this really long stretch in between. And working it on one circ is just so much easier. Ooh, I'm 
So when you start, just be patient. <laughs> when you get up, when you get it big enough. Yes, be patient. Don't worry too much about your ladders. I posted some of the suggestion, suggestions you guys had in my um, on my project page. If you do want some tips on how to avoid those ladders, and um, there was one in particular that worked well for me. Um, I was when I was coming to um, the other one, and then I was holding my cable in the back, and then you know working with the other one, and it was making a ladder. If I held it in front, no ladder. Oh, I, yes, I saw that suggestion. Brilliant. So strange. Another one was to um, slip that first stitch, and then when you come back around, pick it up like it's drop stitch. I've heard that um, one before. I just, I didn't try it because the one I the tried first was the first one. so well. <laughs> <laughs> and then I only went like, I don't know, maybe five or six more rounds before I was able to switch. Yeah. So, there we go. Very are. good. That's looking lovely. Thank you. And how is it working with <laughs> hand spun? I love this hand spun. <laughs> I loved it when I was spinning it, and that's I the love great it thing. Uh, people will ask, "Was well, it cheaper to buy fiber and spin it yourself?" Like, mm, mm. no, it can be. Mon if you think about it in money, actual real money terms, probably not. But in fun but in fun and <laughs> entertainment value so if you're a fan of the yarn harlot she you know that she thinks of it in terms of entertainment value um <clears throat> like a braid costs let's just say 18 dollars but how many hours are you having fun with that braid and then if you knit with it yeah. i mean it's so cheap <laughs> yes it's like pennies per hour. It really is. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I like to think of it. No, I oh, agree. Oh, and then I was so I was working on this um, at the zoo because my kids were just playing in this little play area, and a zookeeper came up and she goes, ah, "How do you have the patience?" <laughs> and I get that. That's a very frequent comment. How do you have the patience? It's like. I don't have the patience to just sit here and do nothing. Yeah. That's yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. I think that's so funny. People will talk about that all the time. Like, mm -hmm. well, I, I always have wanted to learn to knit or yeah. to spin or something, but I don't I really have don't, time. I don't have it's like, patience It's like, how long do, do you it? sit and watch TV every day? Because mm -hmm. according to, you know, recent statistics, the average, well, I'll just say American, right. watches television many hours yeah. each or, day. Or the people who use public transportation. Yes. There's time. You know, whenever you enjoy. In the doctor's office. Yes. In line, mm -hmm. lunch breaks. There's always time for things that you enjoy. You yeah. make time. So, um, okay, well, what am I working on? Oh, I don't feel like I'm getting a whole lot done. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're a busy person. <clears throat> I am full -time knitting. Full-time job, full-time family. Yeah, no kidding. I am, whoops. I am knitting. Look at that. It's a, um, here, let me put it on. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> this is why you didn't have time because it's, it's special yarn. Yes. I dyed it myself. She's so talented. <laughs> Multicraftual. Multicraftual. I love that. I'm going to use that frequently. Um, you used to call me a knitting anomaly. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I so love it. It's like, oh my mm, God. It's so rock and roll. I, well, maybe it's not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe more <laughs> hipster punk. I just, I love it. If, if if you needed um, <laughs> something to match your all black outfit, there you go. Give it a little pop, up. pop a color. Pop pop. P O C. <laughs> What's your P O C? Ah, oh, I got mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what? Oh, I gotta get two. What what? <laughs> okay, so um, I decided I wanted to try dyeing yarn. Why not? With all my extra hours I have in the day. With your <laughs> multiple amounts of free time. I know. So I had some undyed um, sport weight. 
left over from my Pond de Pen uh, cardigan. And so mm -hmm. it's just a you know nice natural color. So I dyed up some self striping. Mm -hmm. And um, I call this colorway Rainbow Fail. Yeah, it's a shame about that yellow. <laughs> See if you can spot the error and the rainbow. <laughs> I would not have spotted it. So I asked. But since I was, it was pointed out to me, I really like to tease you about it. It's just a I shame. like it. I, I think that every time I make this, I'm going to make some random error. I'm just going to have a repeatable. Oh, it could be like your humble stitch. There you go. Rainbow fail. Kind of way. You just. It's like that. Everything fail. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just be like, oh, which, which, which fail is yours? Oh, look. <laughs> I like it like that. Well, God didn't, but <laughs> you might. Nature. <laughs> that's right. In all its infinite wisdom. That's right. Nature the color spectrum. Nah. Okay, but anyway, it's fun. Oh it's my so God. Fun. Knitting with your own dyed yarn. Fun. Mm -hmm. So I asked my daughter because it's only 174 yards. Um, <laughs> I asked her if she wanted some armies. And um, she said, yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Army. She said. And then I got to, like, I only, I had only, you know, knit down just, just a little bit. Pre pretty much just before I put in the, the thumb because I got to about right there. She tried it on and she says, it's itchy. That's my five-year-old. It's not itchy. That's why she's not getting a handsome That's hat. <laughs> That's why she's like, exactly. <laughs> um... Uh, it's a totally side story, but um, in my local yarn shop, I was in there, this was a long time ago now, and she, um, she's like, oh, I'm going to be so evil. Look what we just got in. And she held up a bug. Uh, it was precious. I don't remember what it was called, but it was knits for, for um, girls. Mm -hmm. And it was so precious. It was all super precious patterns for, you know, young girl, girl children. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, oh, it's so cute. That's not evil. She goes, well, I know you have a little girl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I don't have a little girl to knit for. I have a little girl without one to knit for. Yeah. Anything I've ever knit her, she's eh, eh. So anyway, I got to there, and she said they're, they're itchy. She didn't want them, so I decided to make them into mitts for myself. Well, she saw me try it on last night. And she was like, oh, oh, does rainbow fail overcome? <laughs> That's right. Itch factor. That's right. So she tried it on. And yeah. funny enough, it's a little loose, but not like super loose. Like yeah. she could totally wear it. Yeah. It's not flopping around on her little arm. Yeah. Which I guess I have skinny little wrist. Yeah, you do. <laughs> anyway, um, stick wrists. Um, so she, she was like, it comes up to here on her. Awesome. I know. It's like you can wear short sleeves and these. Yes. In the fall. Oh, my gosh. And then when it gets start get, getting a little too warm, you just take that layer off. Just take it off. Look at that. So she likes them now? Now she says they're not itchy anymore because it's got oh. full rainbow. Well, if she changes her mind, at least they fit you. At least they fit me. That's right. It's right back there. On, on her, they go right, like, she has barely fingertips peeking out, mm -hmm. and she loves that. Aww. She's like, I can fold it down, I can fold it up. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad um, she likes it. Yes, so it is no pattern. Y'all are probably getting sick of me. I keep knitting no pattern patterns. Oh, well. That's how I roll, happens. right? Um, I cast on, I did a little gauge swatch, and then I cast on 40 stitches, did a little ribbing. At you the did a gauge swatch? The little one. <laughs> Was it your ribbing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know me so well. I'm going to call mm -hmm on that. <laughs> um, yep, it was the ribbing. Said, that's good. That's fine. And it kept going and um, just put in, I bound off um, some stitches, and then on the next go round, cast on a few more than I bound off because. I wanted there to be a little bit of room. Mm -hmm. And then I just did the decreases. Um, so it's right here. So your hand is wider, obviously, right. right here than it is right here. So I just let those stitches ride until I was about down here. And then I did one decrease, and then I did the, the second decrease, and was back to the original number of stitches by the time I was at my wrist. It's super easy peasy. 
and just kept going until I um, kept weighing my, my little remaining bit because I wanted to um, to use up as much as possible. But when it got you know close to the elbow, I was like, yeah, I'll just stop on the purple so I can have two mitts that are hopefully yeah as close to the same as possible. Or maybe I might fast. You'll find out next week or some at some point. <laughs> Keep watching. I know. I might stay just, tuned. I might just fast forward and have them so they don't match up because that I like kind of like that double look. fail. Yes, double fail all the way. <laughs> all right, so that's it for knitting for me. What about you? I cast on a vanilla sock. So very exciting. Ah, oh, vanilla socks are exciting. Um, yeah. I have a pair of vanilla socks on the needles right now. <laughs> so. Um, and I just felt the need to cast on a completely different pair. That's yes. how I roll. <laughs> and I almost didn't share these with you. <laughs> Regia Blitz Color on clearance at my LYS. It's so cool and looking. And it. Those colors just Stripes aren't like you at all, stuff. So. It's crazy. You're just trying something new. <laughs> totally trying something new. I mean, it, uh, where to go? I mean, it doesn't match anything I have at all. <laughs> you know, predictable. Um, I changed something up. Mm hmm. I made my cuff <laughs> nice. two inches. Nice. What do you usually do? Uh, well, I have one. Mm. Just whatever. Yeah. And then I knit a pretty pretty decent length leg and I'm on my heel flap and I will probably finish the heel flap and then start on the other sock. I like those blips of color in that. Mm-hmm. That's fun. It's just fun. It sure is. It doesn't feel fun though. It's no, just this, my Regia didn't, yeah. didn't feel I, fun. This is the it. first Regia I've come across that feels like this. But yeah. it was so cheap I didn't care and I'm not picky. And my blitz was the same way, but it yeah. wasn't fun looking either. Um, it, Yours, because it didn't have the stripes and color changes. It was, um, it's really bland colors. Yeah. It's like kind of grayish, <laughs> grayish gray with blue, but but a kind of a bluish gray. Also, blah, boring. <laughs> but the label says that it is guaranteed for 10 years. All Regia. Wash and dryer, so. Yeah. Can't okay. beat it. That is a return on your investment. Um, oh, and then I've got a FO. Show it! I love this FO. We do. In here? We Sorry. have so many little <laughs> Look at that guy! Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. This is Sir Cephalopod, is the pattern name, by Susan Claudino, and it was gifted to me. Thank you, you know who you are. <laughs> um, he is so fun, and it's a really clever pattern. Um, and I knit this completely out of hand spun, except yeah, for the in black. So they can see. This hand spun is gorgeous. It was Dawning Dreams. Mm -hmm. It's and so gorgeous. Though. It was the Ides of Marsh colorway. <laughs> so I had Cute named Dawn. him um, Sir Marsh Stash. Oh, I love it. And this button is from Tangerine Designs. She does big ones and little ones. Ugh, they're and so cute. His hat is Fiber Obsessions hand spun from last tour de fleece. So cute stuff. So super, um, super cute. Put him atop. Yeah. And it's a really clever pattern. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty much completely seamless. And um, the way she has you work the legs is really clever. So give it a try. Yeah. Check it Susan out. Susan Claudino. So cute. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, you know what? And mm -hmm. we have a tangerine design. We do. Give we do away. Give away. Let's do it. Okay. So let's remind the fine folks. We have this really cute little Americana. Oopsie. <clears throat> inspired bag. She wraps it up with hand spun. Isn't that super cute? And I'll just give you a peek at the lining. Look at that. And uh, she also threw in a couple of 
cards for um, finished object. Mm -hmm. Look how cute those are from her shop. Yeah, so cute. And I think we have some mustache buttons for a later giveaway too. Hmm. <laughs> you could have a Sir Sir mm. Cephalopod of your very very own mustache and all. Okay, so let's crack this open. So from our giveaway, Tangerine Design giveaway, we had 128 entries. Okay. Let's not hit generate yet. Nor gone to Amazon. <laughs> Nor gone to Amazon. <laughs> 122. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that is going to be... Gosh, it's so random. <laughs> 122 is Monkey's Mom Number 1, Marianne from Connecticut. Congratulations! Yay. You just won yourself a super cool tangerine design bag limited That's edition. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so PM me, Free Flower, and I will get this out to you. And for this week, we have a new giveaway from a brand new Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. she oh, is. she's from Austin. I didn't. I don't think I realized that. Oh, yeah. Heidi's from Austin. Heidi is from Austin. Undead yarn. So wait till we get a load of this. <laughs> it's very. Look at that. It looks like it will glow in the dark. It it's like neon. I wanted to check it out, but I, I kind of forgot <laughs> about doing that, turning off all the lights and seeing if it glows. <laughs> Finger on the pulse. From what I understand, at TNNA, mm -hmm. this year, neon is like the 80s colors are back. Oh. So get yourself you a go. skein of this stuff. And it kind of looks like um, chocolate chip ice cream swirled, doesn't it? It does. But it is called Zombified. And if you check out her shop... Um, which, that's what we'll have you do. Go check out her shop and tell us what you like. She's got a really uh, few cool colorways in there, and they're all in the same undead theme. <laughs> so um, it's pretty fun and pretty, pretty cute stuff over there. So go check out her shop and one post per member, like usual. Mm -hmm. And we'll draw in episode 15. <laughs> Gosh, it's so much fun. I know. <laughs> this is my favorite part. I know. I Give love me it. Away. I love it. Oh my gosh. So there's this song. Other, I don't even know because I'm not cool or in touch <laughs> with stuff. But there's a song that's, um, I don't care. Oh, I love yeah. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that song. My five-year-old goes around <laughs> singing that. I crash my car into the bridge. I don't care. I love it. She's got the <laughs> down to you and everything. Yes. She's so cute. So, I love it. Uh, we both love it, and we love you guys. So, thank you for joining us, and I think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. So, keep spinning, keep knitting, mm -hmm. and enjoy yeah. your week. Is that Come it? back. Come back. To the stash. To the stash. <laughs> in a while. I know. <laughs> All right. All right, stashers. Bye-bye. I got this feeling